It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zu einem neuen kleinen Let's Play hier auf meinem Kanal Resident Evil Revelations. Resident Evil Revelations. Ganz genau. Wir spielen die Kampagne. Ein neues Spiel. Ja, ist okay. Und wir spielen auf normal. So. Hey, Jill. Incredible. The Queen's Anovia. This thing is lucky to be afloat. Take us around. Let's find a boarding point. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. But the interpolation from their last known coordinates puts them... Right here on this ship. Und damit nochmal herzlich willkommen bei Resident Evil Revelations. Man sieht, der Grafik, Stil ist noch ein anderer, aber ist ja auch noch kein Remake, so wie bei Resident Evil 2, 3 oder 4, das wir nächstes Jahr bekommen, worauf ich mich schon sehr freue. Die Sprachausgabe habe ich in Englisch weil ich vor kurzem feststellen musste nach einigen Spielstunden, dass sie mir in Resident Evil 2 wesentlich besser gefällt auf Englisch als in Deutsch. Aber wir haben Untertitel. Und wie man sieht, weiß ich nicht genau, wann die Charaktere sprechen und wann nicht. Hey. Oh. Ist er. Ich habe Revelation schon mal gespielt. Allerdings vor Jahren. Um ehrlich zu sein, kann ich mich noch nicht mehr besonders an die Story erinnern. Wir haben eine Minimap oben. Das ist schön. There's blood coming from the ducks. Okay. Der Zombie sieht schon ein wenig lustig aus. Ich 
bisschen wie Popeye. Dem Arm. Kann man hier irgendwas öffnen? Oh ja. Oh toll, leer. Ein Heilkraut. Sehr gut. Da sind wir wohl in der Kombi. Nicht so lecker. Shorted out. Frozen drinks. Hey, wo ist die Tür? Wie geht's hier weiter? Zum Glück haben wir eine Map. Ich bin verwirrt. Nö, hier ist ein Sackgasse. Sehr gut. Sehr gut. Da ist eine Map. Man muss sie jetzt nur noch lesen können. Spiel und ich habe mich schon verlaufen. No power, which means no elevator for us. Okay, okay. Auf. It's not working. Hey, Moment, aber wir waren doch da richtig. <lacht> Sonst geht's ja hier nirgendwo, ne? Wo geht's hier weiter? Das ist aber ein kurzes Spiel. Bisschen peinlich. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? Give me a sec. So, it's not Chris. Da der zu, tre ist, zu treffen ist, aber auch nicht so einfach. This explains our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you, Chris?
This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating city of Terra Grigia. A sustainable metropolis operating on a massive solar energy matrix and equipped with the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. But in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. The FBC, the world's leading counter-bioterror organization operating under the auspices of the U.S., was called in to direct efforts to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter-bioterror NGO, which operates independently of the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist the FBC. Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, the FBC announced it has successfully disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible, a silent and potent symbol of the threat that bioterror poses for people around the world. told me I need exercise. I assume you both know that the FBC has cordoned off the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is gonna put two and two together. And that's why I've sent the BSAA in to investigate. Did you pick up your new equipment from Quint? Yeah. Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No. Uh, I brought it with me, just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're going to need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah. I'm on it. müssen wir noch schnell leben. Okay. Ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Wie benutzt sich der Tick? Skin so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Use the Genesis to get a reading on it. <laughs> the Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. Have a look at this. I'm getting something from inside it. something what is this if 
it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. Okay. Jill steckt wirklich überall ihre Hand rein. Hier hat er gar keine Hemmungen. Vater hat das im Schiff schon eklig. Aber jetzt hier in so ein Vier einfach mal die Hand. Blöd. Warum lebst du nur noch? Sorry. Wo muss man denn noch gehen bei dem Weg? After Raccoon City, this oh must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? I wanted to be more involved. They're blocked. I see you two are okay. Continue with the investigation, but proceed with extreme caution. Der explodiert. Uh, that smell must have ruptured from gas. Christ, what a mess. Irgendwann gewöhne ich mich dran, dass ich F drücken muss. Ich bin mir sicher. die überhaupt angucken, ehrlich. <lacht> Macht keinen Sinn. We don't have enough data to run a complete analysis. Gather some more samples from the carcasses on the beach. I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me ASAP. As soon as possible. Ach, das ist schon sprinten. Wenn man Shift drückt, dann läuft man. Oder geht man. Ach, nö. Kann ich den wieder zum Explodieren? Nein. Schade. Oh, warte mal, wir haben doch... Enough chit chat. Get that sample data to me. There you are. Nice work. No 
corpses show signs of viral infection. Well, I bet it's no coincidence they came through the FPC's blockade. Well, we did all we can. Now, we wait for the results to come back from HQ. Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh huh? Good. Get to it. Bill, Parker. You two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. The signal was lost over the ocean. Thought they were in the mountains chasing Feltro. But judging from their position, they must be... On a ship. I'll go back to HQ, take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. Yes, sir. Menschen erst ran. Oh, wun oh Wunder. Ja, ich weiß nicht, warum äh, in den Videosequenzen die Charaktere so leise sind. Ich würde sagen, ich beende die erste Folge hier an dieser Stelle und versuche mal herauszufinden, ob ich die Charaktere in den Cutscenes ein bisschen lauter bekomme. Ich hoffe, ihr habt Spaß an dem Spiel. Es hat euch ein bisschen gefallen und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge. Bye!